Welcome to EO Browser. This video is the first in a series of five tutorials introducing the EO Browser's education mode, a simplified user interface of EO Browser, designed for educational purposes and enriched with interesting themes for you to explore. In this tutorial, you will learn about the main features of EO Browser with a focus on the education mode. Let's get a quick overview of the general interface of EO Browser, available in different languages. You can use EO Browser and visualize satellite images without logging in. However, to use all the features of EO Browser, we suggest that you create a free account and log in. On the left side, you will find the sidebar, which allows you to easily search for data and change your visualizations. On the Discover tab, EO Browser offers the selection of data sources from the complete archives of satellite images from Sentinel, Landsat, and others. You can select the satellite, example given the default Sentinel 2 L2A, choose the time range, set the maximum cloud coverage you want displayed on your image, and search for data. If you are not familiar with all these data sources, you can switch to Education Mode and select one of the pre-configured themes that provide a quick and easy way to find out which satellites and visualizations are commonly used and well suited to the topic at hand. You can select your location by either searching for it in the search bar, panning the map with the mouse, or by selecting one of the highlights with preset visualizations in interesting locations that can inspire you to explore new places. For this video, we'll use the geology theme and select the Danakil Depression in Ethiopia as the location. When we click on it, the selected highlight is displayed on the map and we can choose between different visualization options, such as True Color, False Color, SWIR and others. We can set the date manually, create a custom visualization, compare different visualizations, save our favorite visualizations as a pin, or use some of the tools in the right toolbar to help us analyze our visualizations, such as the tool to measure distance or calculate statistics. Not only can we edit our visualizations, but we can also download them to create time lapses in 2D or 3D. This has been a brief overview of the features and capabilities of EO Browser. If you need more information about the different features available, you can click on the info icon in the top right corner to learn more. In the following EO Browser education tutorials, we will show you how to use certain features of EO Browser in different use cases to explore the world from a whole new perspective. Thanks for watching.